Hey there, interwebs. I hope you're all doing well. So currently I'm in the middle of moving stuff. I'm clearing out a storage unit uh, at the moment. So uh, apologies that I look like I'm in a murder basement. It's because I am in a murder basement at the moment. Uh, but I felt like I needed to record a video right now because I'm honestly just uh, kind of devastated uh, after hearing the news that uh, Star Trek Prodigy, uh, the Nickelodeon Star Trek show that has finished its first season and had gotten renewed for a second season that is supposedly going to be coming out at some point now, uh, has been officially canceled by Paramount+. Plus. First things first, that element of it, the cancellation, is really, really sad, especially because I think Star Trek Prodigy is one of the strongest Star Trek shows that's out there right now. Like, legitimately, Star Trek Prodigy is fantastic. If you have not watched season one of that show, it is it is truly excellent. It, it captures Star Trek spirit, brings Star Trek to a new generation, and yet also continues, like, the, the spirit of Star Trek Voyager specifically, but all of Star Trek forward in a way that I wish Star Trek Picard really had been able to do in terms of, like, expanding the 24th century. Um, it, Prodigy is a, such an amazing, wonderful show, and to see it get canceled, especially before season two is released, um, is is really upsetting and, and sad. And it's even more upsetting considering that, you know, this is before season two is coming out. So now the folks who are working on season two, uh, you know, have to hopefully wrap out their story in an animation that's really, really difficult. So hopefully, um, you know, wherever season two ends, you know, it's it's a good place for the writers, uh, the Hangman Brothers and, and Aaron uh, and everyone else who works on that show um, can finish it out in a, in a really strong way. Like I know they uh, are totally able to do, though I know certainly they wish they could tell more. But that being said, um, the thing that actually pisses me off most is it was also revealed at the same time as its cancellation announcement that it was being removed from Paramount Plus completely, the entirety of season one, alongside a couple other shows like that Grease spin-off show that, that was going on, um, which is part of the much larger trend that we are seeing a lot of streaming services doing, like HBO, well, formerly HBO Max, Disney Plus has done it as well, which is removing TV shows, even recently finished or even ongoing shows, given Sgt. Prodigy hasn't even released a season two yet, from their services completely making them inaccessible for people to get. Uh, especially, this is more especially horrible considering from what I've seen, Star Trek Prodigy has not released the second half uh, of its season one on physical media, and who knows if that's going to be the case with season two, and where even season two will be released, uh, considering season one will not be available. Uh, and this is absolutely horrible just uh, as a Star Trek fan, because it means there's going to be at least ten episodes of a Star Trek show uh, that are going to be completely inaccessible for people uh, for at least a small chunk of time, if not indefinitely, um, and possibly twenty more episodes of an unreleased uh, part of the show, but also just absolutely disgusting towards artists. I mean, we've had this conversation when it was happening on Disney Plus and on Max, but the very fact that, like, especially in animation, but other shows as well, but especially animation is hit hard by this, uh, shows are just completely removed from being able to be seen by people, being able to, for the creators to be able to, you know, share their work, be able to show, like, hey, this is the work that I did to be able to get new employment, especially right now when the WGA strike is ongoing and writers are fighting for their ability to continue uh, their, their lives and their livelihoods, um, it is, it is frankly disgusting. It is a frankly disgusting move by Paramount Plus. You know, I'm not someone who ever, like, stand Paramount as a company. You know, I love Star Trek. I love the shows on I love the creatives on that show and all those series that are ongoing. Um, big companies got a big company. Um, but it is absolutely a disgusting thing um, for, for them to do this. Um, and I'm, I'm honestly, frankly, just kind of, like, <laughs> really bummed out. Um, so now I have to, like, finish filming uh, or finish packing uh, while being really bummed. The other thing, too, that I just realized as I was filming this is that I'm betting you Paramount decided to release this information the day after Star Trek Strange New Worlds had one of its best episodes that it's ever done in order to try to hide the news from Trekkies, to have all the Trekkies be riding high on what is admittedly, I think, one of the best episodes of the last 20 years for Star Trek, uh, and then say, oh, and then we're canceling your show and removing it and, and having everyone in the Trekkie community be more discussing the Strange New Worlds episode. Do not let that happen. If you are a Trekkie, be loud and proud and vocal about our love for Star Trek Prodigy right now and uh, standing by them. That was what the Star Trek community does. We stand by the people and the creatives and the family uh, that makes this universe possible. We love Star Trek, but more importantly, what Star Trek is about is about the family that it creates and the love of difference and, and in others that it engenders in all of us. So while I am so proud of Star Trek Strange New Worlds, I love that show and I'm very excited for the rest of season two. 
do not let that moment uh, of it overshadow this this moment where members of our family, uh, the Trekkie family, need us right now. Um, and again, shame on Paramount. Shame on Paramount for doing this uh, at all, but especially today. Like, legit, actually, the more I think about it, the more I'm pissed off about this, because, like, legit, it hasn't even released season two yet. Like, if you're gonna cancel the show, fine, at least let it have its final season out and then cancel it afterwards. Like, maybe tell the people behind the, the show so they can look for jobs and stuff like that. But, like, but like, don't, like, ruin its momentum by canceling it before season two has even been finished yet. And then on top of that, to just the reason that they're doing it now is so they can remove it from their services, so they can save just a little bit more money uh, from their services, just write it off as a tax thing and then remove it from fans, from people who actually care about this thing, who are using it to bring their family, their friends uh, into Star Trek, especially the younger generation who are really into shows like Prodigy, to remove this this from that, that platform, something that is supposed to engender hope and optimism and bringing it uh, to the next generation and bringing it uh, a family together uh, to do this right now in this way for what is very clearly capitalist goals, uh, stands against everything that Star Trek stands for and honestly just really, really, really just pisses me off. It is honestly just disgusting. Legitimately, uh, be very vocal about how angering this is on whatever platform you have. Uh, you know, Star Trek fans have been known to scare uh, studios before. We've we've done it. We have saved Star Trek shows in the past, uh, or at the very least made very clear our anger with decisions done with Star Trek all the way back to the 1960s. Uh, so let's be very clear here with Paramount. This is unacceptable. This is gross and disgusting, uh, and we will not stand for it. That all being said, I will end uh, on this note too as well. If you are uh, one of the creators on Star Trek Prodigy, because I do know that I am uh, lucky enough that some people from Star Trek Prodigy do watch my stuff, uh, I'm sending you love. Uh, I want you to know that I'm going to be very vocal about this. And whenever season two releases, I'm going to be very vocal about standing it, about propping it up, about discussing every episode, um, giving it as much as not more attention than its live action counterparts that are still ongoing because you are just as much a part of the Star Trek family. And I'm so thankful for all the work you've already done the work that you're going to continue to do, and I look forward to everything that you have going forward, whether it be in the Star Trek universe or beyond, because you are part of this family, uh, because Star Trek is about family, about loving others and accepting others, and uh, I adore you all. Um, so yes, uh, fans, Trekkies, be vocal about this. To those of you who are working in Prodigy, I am so excited for what you still have to bring us, uh, both in Star Trek and beyond, and know that uh, the Trekkie family has your back. We send you love.